Hi, welcome to the Explore Russian Confluence. Today is day five. I will guide how to add or send some invitation to the user for the teammate. And then I will also guide how to do setting the permission for them on Confluent page. Okay, let's get started. Open the Confluent page on the browser and you take a look into the top navigation. You click on the people. Here you can see we have a resort team. If you want to start a team, you can click on the plus start a team button. Or even you can also add people to Confluent page or certain people and team available on cloud. I will select option number two by adding the people to my Confluent page. It will open another pop-up, invite your teammates, select a product, it will be a Confluent. And for now, you can connect the your teammate from Slack, Microsoft account, or even send an email directly to the uh, email. So I will enter the email. I will have a GNVA 248 at gmail.com. You can also send the invitation to multiple people. Uh, for this plan, I will able to send around 10 people for invitation. Click on invite teammates. You see here, we, we have a success message. You have invite this email to Confluent. And you open the email of the GNV8248. You see we have an Atlassian email. GNV8 invite you to Confluent. You click on the Join Zoom Now button. And you have to log in. Log in. If you already have a account show, you are able to log in. Otherwise, you have to create the account before you can log in into the Confluent page. Let's select a space to explore. Select the website development. And because this account is already exists, so I can select another space here. If this account is new created, so you will are only able to see the project I have that sent in invitation email. Select this project and then click on the next button. It will direct you to the website development project. This is a welcome from the Confluent page. And you can also see some of the tooltips. It will guide how to use a Confluent. Okay. And close this one and you back to the Confluent path of the main account. And I will click, I will click on the space setting. Click on the permission. On the permission, you see we have a license user in the group or individual user. You can click on edit permission. And navigate to the individual users where you are able to do to grant the permission to individual user regardless of quick group they are a member of. Yeah. You enter the name here, GNV8, two, four, eight. GNV, add this one. Yeah. Because this account will have the same name with current account. So it will be a little bit difficult. Yeah. 
Okay, so let me select this phone number of permission here first. After you select user and grant the permission for the new user, so you can click on Save on button to save the new change. Yeah. Let me open this account and go to profile. You are able to see my profile. Manage the account. The name I will change the Tian Viet in this public name Tian Viet. Back to my space and I will try to refresh this one. Scroll it down. Yeah. You see, for now, I can see the two different names for Chien Vu and the second one will be Chien Viet. Chien Viet is the primary account. Hello, hello. Yeah. And so now here we have not complete create the and add the permission for the user. So here. Let's go ahead to create some pages here for resource perspective. I could click on the blue button here to create a child page. So when we create a new page on the Confluent, you take a look into the right hand side. It will display some the template. For now, we have a lot of templates available here for you to select. Because for now, we are going to Create the page for retrospective. So I will try to set the retrospective out here. This is the default template. Team option with team is for create. Yeah. And if it have not created a page for me, it will be on selected templates. And I'm assuming all of the information on this page had been done. And I can, and then I will click on the publish button on the top. By default, after you create a page, it will be in the draft or status. If you want to share the new page created for another member in the team, so you have to publish the pages by changing it from a draft status to a public data. Okay, so this is resource perspective. Let me open the another account. Refresh this one. And click on resource perspective. Click on the three pass. Yeah. And you see here, I can see the resource perspective confluent pet had been created by the main account. Okay. So here, let me come back to the main account. And on this resource page, uh, I click on Registration in the block icon here. It will open up a pop-up where I'm able to do some the setting or limitation for each account. By default, anyone on Confluent can view and edit this page. You click on the drop-down button. And there are three options. By default, the first option will be selected. We have another option is anyone on Confluent can view, some can edit. Yeah. And if you select this option, you have to provide the name of the member you want to be allowed for editing. Or you, you can even select only specific people can view and edit. That means for now, only the edit person here is able to view the content of the page. Everyone else don't have access. Let me click on apply button and then we can check it. Come back to the second account. I will go to the resource menu. Refresh the page. Yeah. And go to resource perspective again. After that, you take a look into the content tree. You cannot 
uh, see the new retrospective tripod had been created before. Yeah, because for now it have some restriction. Only the admin is able to see it for now. Back to the main account. Prevent this bed. Yeah, you still able to see this one. In order to share it for a new account, you can enter the name here, Ichin Wu. You can select the option to edit or view, upload, update it for edit. Okay, come back to the second account. Refresh this one. Yeah. You can see the resource rate but here. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this lesson, you know how to send the invitation to the sort teammate. Yeah. Once the user e approve the invitation via email, so they are able to access the confluent page via that email. And then after the administrator of the Confluent page, getting the message, it says that the user has had thus accept the invitation for the account. And then the, ad, the administrator are able to add that people in, in, into this way. And then we are able to limit some the function for each way on the Confluent page. We also know how to do some the setting for rejection. In this uh, allow everyone on the space e e able to see all of the pieces in this space. So the confluent page system will help you to 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 grant the permission to some specific person to make sure that. Uh, they are able to view some of the specific content or not. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue or you have any question. Okay. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye bye. Happy learning.